Teen climate activist Greta Thunberg gave a speech at the Youth Climate Summit in Milan, and I loved her speech. She criticized world leaders, Joe Biden, Boris Johnson, Emmanuel Macron, and everything she said was absolutely just perfect. However, there was one individual in particular, Dave Rubin, who took issue with what she said. Now, before I show you what he said, I want to play a portion of her speech because I don't think anything she says here is even controversial. If anything, you'd think that Dave Rubin would applaud her because she's criticizing a Democratic Party president like Joe Biden. Having said that, though, his criticism of her is just truly insane. But first, this is what she said. This is the speech that's supposedly so controversial. Build back better, blah, blah, blah. Green economy, blah, blah, blah. Net zero by 25, 2050, blah, blah, blah. Net zero by 2050, blah, blah, blah. Net zero, blah, blah, blah. Climate neutral, blah, blah, blah. This is all we hear from our so-called leaders. Words. Words that sound great, but so far has led to no action. Our hopes and dreams drown in their empty words and promises. Of course, we need constructive dialogue, but they've now had 30 years of blah, 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 and where has that led us? Over 50% of all our CO2 emissions have occurred since 1990 and a third since 2005. All this while the media is reporting on what the leaders say that they are going to do instead of what they are actually doing. And then not holding leaders accountable for their action or rather inaction. And don't get me wrong, we can still do this. Change is not only possible, but urgently necessary, but not if we go on like today. They say they want solutions, but you cannot solve a crisis that you don't, do not fully understand. You cannot balance a budget if you do not count all the numbers. And as long as we ignore equity and historic emissions, and as long as we don't include consumption of imported goods, burning of biomass, etc., etc., and as long as clever accounting is one of the most efficient ways of reducing emissions, we won't get anywhere. And the climate crisis is, of course, only a symptom of a much larger crisis. A sustainability crisis, a social crisis, a crisis of inequality that dates back to colonialism and beyond. A crisis based on the idea that some people are worth more than others and therefore have the right to exploit and steal other people's land and resources. And it is very naive to believe that we can solve this crisis without confronting the roots of it. Right now, we are still very much speeding in the wrong direction. 2021 is currently projected to experience the second highest emission rise ever. Only about 2% of government recovery spendings have been allocated to clean energy measures. And according to a new report by the UN, global emissions are expected to rise by 16% by 2030 compared to 2010 levels. Our leaders' intentional lack of action is a betrayal towards all present and future generations. The people in power cannot claim that they are trying because they are clearly not as they continue opening up brand new coal mines, oil fields and pipelines, pretending to have ambitious climate policies while granting new oil licenses, exploring enormous future oil fields and shamelessly congratulating themselves while still failing to come up with even the bare minimum and long overdue funding to help the most vulnerable countries deal with the impacts of the climate crisis. If this is what they consider to be climate action, then we don't want it. That was incredible. Predictably so. Every speech that she gives is usually remarkable. Uh, she's really a, a gifted order. And for someone who is so young, um, that's, that's really admirable. When I was that young, I was not that articulate and I didn't care about 
that many issues. But for her to be so passionate, I, I mean, this is this is important. We need young leaders like her to stand up. And her criticizing leaders like Joe Biden, Emmanuel Macron, this is really important because they talk a big game when it comes to climate change, but functionally, their actions are no different than climate deniers. So what's the point of electing people if they claim that they care about climate change and they say there's no planet B and they want to save the planet, but they do nothing. They continue to lease out, you know, uh, their public lands to oil and gas extractors. They, they just, they change nothing. They continue the process of building these pipelines. It's so frustrating. So her frustration there is palp palpable. And that's why the audience was captivated by her speech, because what she's saying, it resonates with people because it's true. We're not treating this crisis like the emergency that it is, like the national security threat that it is. So we go to Dave Rubin now. So he saw that same speech that we all watched and he's going to criticize her, obviously. But you would think that he'd criticize her in a different way. Like as a propagandist for the Republican Party, he'd use this as an opportunity to attack Joe Biden. So I would expect him to say something like, well, you know, even the extreme leftists like Greta Thunberg, they're dissatisfied with Joe Biden. So that must tell you how incompetent he is. But no, he's going to take it in a different direction. And he's actually going to compare Greta Thunberg to Hitler. I wish I were making this up, but this is something that he literally said. Take a look. Okay, I don't even think I have to address anything that she said there in her blah, blah, blah speech, but I wanted to show it because of the, the tone and the anger and then the masked clones all applauding her at the end as she's telling us how everyone before her are basically evil. That's what she's saying. They've had their chance, now our chance. Now it's our chance. Like, just imagine if this girl had enough power, the horrible things that she would do to people. Like, I am not... Uh, going to be the only one who could see like little sort of uh, imagery of Hitler speaking up there, right? Like there was some, th these people that think that they can control the world and if you just gave them enough money and enough power, they could do it. Man, we have unearthed something so horrible by, by our elite class um, and our intellectual class being so dishonest with us for so long. We have unleashed something that basically every Western nation is under attack uh, from every which direction. But that anger of that little girl, uh, it's its just disturbing. Um, anyway, I, I wanted to just show you that because it's just like, where are the adults? Dave Rubin has got to be the biggest fucking moron on the planet. First of all, I don't think that he believes anything that he's saying. I think that deep down he's probably at best a centrist, but probably still a liberal. He's just saying what his right-wing audience wants to hear. But I mean, in terms of being a propagandist, you are one of the worst. What you said there was genuinely stupid. It's Marjorie Green level stupidity. But he said that the uh, masked uh, clones were applauding her. He took a shot at people in the audience who were wearing masks during a pandemic. Okay, okay. That's expected by dumb fucks like you. Uh, but then he says, just imagine if this girl had enough power. The horrible things she would do to people. Imagine if this girl had power. What would she do? Um, I don't know. Stop anthropogenic climate change. Save billions of lives, literally. I just don't understand. Like, of all people, this is someone who you'd expect to be the most compassionate. Someone like Greta Thunberg who cares about the future of the planet. Somebody who condemned uh, colonialism in her speech. But yet he thinks that she would be the most cruel. No, actually, that's projection because your team would be the most cruel. But then he says, uh, like, I'm not going to be the only one who could see little sort of imagery of Hitler speaking up there. You compared a teen climate activist to Hitler. You said her speech was Hitlerian. I'm against labeling all my opponents bigots and racists, and I'm against deplatforming speakers, especially at colleges where ideas are meant to be challenged and debated. Dave. I like talking about ideas. You are the dumbest motherfucker on the planet. And I think you are the only one who thought that that was a Hitlerian speech. I, I think that when he says, I'm not the only one. No, I think literally you're probably the only person in the world who thought, man, this is very Hitlerian. Who thinks that? That's so stupid. What a dumb, mind-numbingly stupid take. And 
the dumbest part about all of this is we know that he doesn't believe that. He probably agrees with her deep down, but he won't say it. But yet he's comparing a teen climate activist to Hitler. Jesus, what a dipshit. Uh, finally, he says th that anger of that little girl is just disturbing. Where are the adults? I don't even know how to respond to that. I don't even know how to respond to that. Yeah, where are the adults who see that we're facing catastrophe, possibly an extinction level event for our species? So yeah, where are the adults? Why aren't they taking this seriously? If Dave Rubin watches a disaster movie, like when he saw Armageddon or Deep Impact, when they learned that a comet was going to crash into Earth, did he think that their anger or uh, their their worry was disturbing? I mean, we're kind of at the beginning of a disaster movie right now as it relates to climate change. We're starting to see the ways in which it's killing people, literally. In the Pacific Northwest, we just experienced a mass death casualty heat wave. We're seeing wildfires become an annual thing. He experiences this being a resident of California. So he knows that everything he's saying is wrong. He's just saying it because his audience is full of right-wing rubes who eat up every single thing he says, regardless of how stupid it is. So that's where we're at with Dave Rubin. That's where uh, he's at. He's now comparing teen climate activists to Hitler. <sighs> very smart. Very smart. Good job, Dave. You're very, very intelligent. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. 